Hello everyone. Today we're going to be installing the Shore Power Kit from Explorers Life. Included in the Explorers Life Shore Power Wiring Kit is the Shore Power Inlet, the necessary wire, and all of the bolts and attachment pieces. Our battery system for all of our electrical components is going to exist here. And what's nice about the Ford Transit is right behind, there's a nice hole or a section where we can put our hole for the shore power inlet. And as you can see, we still have kill mat in there. We did our sound deadening before we started our electrical clearly. So we will have to cut through that, which will be a little bit annoying, but shouldn't be too big of a problem. So the next step in this process is to get some painter's tape and we're gonna cover the side of the van so we don't hurt the metal. There's no accident of the teeth grabbing in a weird way or anything like that. Just a precaution. So now's the fun part. We get to drill a hole in our $63,000 van. Um, we're gonna do a small, small pilot hole from the inside out so we know that our three inch uh, inlet is going to fit within this little square that Katie pointed out and then from there we're going to swap it out for our hole dozer our three inch boy and we're going to do that from the outside in. All right, tell me when you're ready. I'm good. Okay, I'm gonna start on the top left. I dropped a note card down the day. So in Explorers Life, their uh, video that we've been following to install this, which is great, you guys should follow them, um, he said, or Nate said to use a 1 8 drill bit. We did a 1 8 drill bit and we couldn't get the bolt to go through it. So we jumped up to, what is it, 9 64th, and we still couldn't get that bolt in. And I think some of that is uh, because we still have kill mat on the back side of it, so maybe there's a little struggle with that. So we ended up going to 5 30 seconds uh, drill bit size and it worked just fine. So just a word for the wise. So now that the Rust-Oleum that Katie just painted is dry on the back of the van, we're going to disassemble this. Uh, this white little container just kind of pulls straight off. And there are two Phillips screws on the back of that. We're gonna have to unattach that because we're gonna feed the wire that comes included in the kit back into this. So let's get the Phillips. Um, so we take this completely off or just like it slides up a little bit. That was a question. I don't know. I wanted some B-roll of you. Um, just doing some B-roll. Oh yeah, we definitely feed wire through that. Cool. So we marked two and a half inches on the white sheath and we're going to take that off to expose the three cables inside. Now is this gonna work? God, I hope so. How do we... Let's 
so, 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 so. so now that we strip this back two and a half inches, we're going to strip back each individual cable three quarters of an inch. Katie's gonna do it. Just do one. Why even risk it? So that is where it splits, yeah? Yeah. Then watch your fingers, make sure it's not in it. And these are clear? Yep. Noise. So we put the green in the green, the black, the black, the white, the white. We kind of like twisted the little wire nipples to push them in, um, which is a technical term. And then the bolt, the screws on the outside for each wire, we tightened it down and we think we did a good job. We have no idea, but we're positive. So then the next thing is this goes back together. So we thought this would be a bit more straightforward than what it actually was. We put all the wires in and then when we went to clamp down the housing, it wouldn't, the whole thing, the wires, it's just a, too tight of a space to make that turn, the, how the housing sits. And although we have it, it just seems a bit sketch because this plastic is sharp and these are making really tight turns and it's being clamped and I don't know, it's on. So can you spin your, because I need to go the opposite direction, right? Can you spin that up? There we go, like that. Like that. Can you see something like that? Do you need me to put a light in? Oh, no, I can see through. These ones perfect. It's this one that I can't. Which one? Top left? Um, this one. Um, okay, so if we can do, if we can align the three that we can see, I can put a drill through the one we can't see and open that hole. Okay. So, so I can see, I can see perfect through this and this. Or the top left. And then this one is nearly perfect, okay. but I can't see anything through this one. But before, Okay, now I'm going to do the front top. Okay, the one close to the driver's seat, that's where I am. Now we're... Okay, I'm in. Okay, now we're bottom back. Okay, let me get in. I'm in. Okay. 
Okay, I'm on the front bottom. Okay. We don't have our battery system in place yet, so we can't test the shore power, but as you can see, it is fully installed. Uh, we want to thank Explorers Life for putting this kit together so that we could buy it uh, with the step-by-step -step instruction in their own YouTube video. Uh, we have some hiccups, we learned some lessons, but overall it looks great and we think it's going to work fine as soon as we get it plugged in. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to follow our journey as we continue to convert our van, hit that subscribe button and thank you for watching.